Mina-san, konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And we are doing a quick um, review of the Cathedral Gundam. Um, I'm going to excuse my voice here a little bit. I am a little ill, so if I, you know, panic and lose my voice, then that's that's not on me. Then I'll just make up a bunch of stuff. Yeah, just bullshit. Yeah. Um, okay, so Cathedral Gundam. He is 33 feet high. Um, he's actually 60 feet high. Um, no, this model, literally. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so it's like simple. it's it's like a um, what a, a one two, but not quite. It's more like a one two point four, uh, something. Yeah. Anyway. My nail polish matches the base. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. That's a selling point. So this is a premium Bandai kit. Um, probably pretty hard to find outside of Japan. I don't know. Um, I know you can order them from like GG Infinite and shit like that. Damn, um, he's pretty. Yeah, it's a very pretty kit. Um, there are some problems with it. Um, in fact, one of them is glaring right now at me. Um, and it is that right there. Fucking stickers. You can see this one's peeling off and there's a reason for this because it's awful placement. Oh, the gray pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Those gray piece stickers are coming off. The ones on the shoulder are awful. Um, basically they are on, um, on an angle, but they're flat stickers. Um, usually Bandai will like perforate them or something to yeah. sort of make up for the fact that they're on, um, uneven spots, but they didn't in this case. And even if they did, they don't really work very well. So that's So if sucks. you pay the money to get this premium Bandai kit and you don't paint it, paint it you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, yeah. It, we, we use the stickers here to demonstrate. Yeah, I typically, I, yeah, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll do the stickers for my reviews and then I'll paint them uh, or whatever, do panel linings and stuff. But I want you to see the way that the kit actually builds. As so, it comes out of the box. Yeah. Um, so that sucks. I hate that. The stickers are awful. If you Boo. get this kit, expect to paint it. It's expensive. So, you know, paint it. Paint it. Um, but it's beautiful. It is. It's a great kit. Anyway, so let's let's break it down. Yep. First off, a lot of the Build Fighters Try um, kits have these um, stands. I love them. Yeah. I wish they would just put one in every HG kit. Yeah, might as well. Like, seriously. Um, and this is just the, the standard little tiny stand. It comes in one small pseudo runner. Does it fold down flat? Um, you have to take that piece You have to down. take that piece off. But basically, like, yeah. it, it breaks down to almost nothingness. Mm. Like, you can snap these pieces into each other i think and it's really diminutive yeah. but i love these little i wish stands. they would sell those too yeah i would buy like 10 packs of them right who knows maybe they will so anyway those little are you listening to us bandai here on youtube channel yeah clearly okay so sign. the waist not too stable <laughs> i wish i could do that <laughs> Okay, so the waist is not 100% stable. Um, it's just a poly cap, but it's on this big ball joint. And the kit is, particularly when it's got its bow and arrow, uh, it's very top heavy. So, you know, you got to expect a little bit of that. Me too. Um, these side skirts, they're kind of neat. They're on um, full rockers. Uh, they're basically double hinged. Nice. So they can come off and you can do all sorts of extra range on there. Like, mm. you've got a lot of reach. That's cool, but they do fall off because of it. Not a big deal. Like, that's totally part of the... Skirts fall off. Yeah, like, <laughs> skirts do fall off. Um, I had someone saying that the um, the front skirts don't actually move. They do. They, In fact, they are made to move independently. You don't even have to break them apart like you do on a lot of kits. Mm. Um, but they barely have much range of motion. They, mm. they really don't move much. Um, and they only move vertically. They, they're not on ball joints. So they don't um, move to the side. Yeah, they're on cylindrical joints. So they don't move to the side. They only move up and down. And only a little bit. So they do move, but not a whole bunch. Okay. So also, this is basically a reskin of the Denial. In fact, in this kit, you get everything necessary to build a gold Denial. Which is kind of cool. Except for the Denial's effect parts, which are really the selling point for the Denial because yeah. of the, the hair and stuff. The gold hair, that would be gorgeous. Yeah. And like, you know, the, the, the purple hair for the Denial doesn't just doesn't work. It's not on not for this. Gundam? Yeah, it wouldn't work on this you color. Know my high school colors were gold and purple. Huh. I think it would be like really good for like a green. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so. I guess we have to learn how to do plastic casting, huh? Yeah. Man, look that stuff up. That is intense, cool. Uh, yeah. So anyway, this is a um this is the bow and arrow, um, 
it's kind of the loosest sense of the word. In the loosest sense, but it's it's just about as much as like the red frame of stray. Sure. Or the blue frame, sorry, the blue frame. Arrow um, gun. I guess the red frame has one too. But anyway, so this is this is the bow and arrow assembly. It's also the backpack. Um and it's a sort of weird thing. It uses both of the beam sabers. There are also longer versions of the beam sabers. These mm -hmm. are just the, the sort of hand versions. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is, um, it's kind of weird. Like it is not quite as complicated as say the, um, the red frame um, yeah. uh, or anything like that, but it is pretty complicated. I feel like we should be counting steps like you count strokes, right? Yeah. Um <laughs> So there's the backpack. Actually the backpack is um totally reversible. You can move those things however you want. I, I, I actually like it like this um quite a bit, mm -hmm. but it's not made to go that way. It's actually made to go this way. Um it's made to go up. Like wings. Yeah, like wings that are upward. Um so you've got your wings that go up like that. Um pretty majestic actually it is it is so the chest just like the denial the chest um does go forward a little bit you've got a little bit of opening there um that's to facilitate using the bow and arrow basically right his shoulders need to be able to rotate forward yeah yeah uh, but it's a nice effect um you get standard build fighters try hands so you get your um your fist and you get your um your open hand and you get your um weapon hand and so that's interchangeable with all the other build yeah Gundam try whatever. Yeah, and if you want to get put a glowing red fist on it, so yeah, you can absolutely put a glowing red fist on it. You could also, um, you can also get the um, the whatever the Kamiki um, Jigen Hao hands or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, all of that works. Yeah, like I said, these um, skirts do kind of pop off, so it's 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 a little little annoying. You know what they need? They need an adapter for just regular hands for the. Um, baby bear guy hand holding pose oh yeah so that you could have everybody hold the bear, the bear guy petite's hands look i have a thing okay yeah okay but if you rock down those skirts it does have a pretty good range of motion mm. um it could actually it can do splits um but not not sit flat because of the crotch piece yeah it can it can kick most of the way forward those skirts do get in the way a little bit um but it has a good range of motion can you balance on one foot um, probably, yeah. Yeah, it definitely could. It would be a little hard, but mm -hmm. it could. Um, also, one one cool thing about it, and it's the same as on the denial. Um, you have a rocker on the hip um, that's actually that dislodges a little bit and allows you to move the legs quite a bit and give them extra range of motion, um, which is nice. So it's it's actually a pretty articulate kit. It's not like amazing or anything like that, but it's definitely good by standard of Bill Fighters tri kits. Yeah. Um, you know, your head doesn't really have much. Well, actually, it'll go all the way around, but um, yeah. But it, it's kind of weird because it's got those big, huge collar pieces. Um, and like I said, you can actually use this to build a fully gold denial um, instead of the Cathedral Gundam, which without is kind of cool. Parts. Yeah, without the effects parts. Um, so you'd have to come up with something else to do for those. Um, but that's cool. Um, but it also means that you have a lot of extra kit pieces to mm. play around with. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's a nice effect. Um, I wonder if you could leave out the white, like get a denial, leave out the white, and do the gold and the purple, and then the purple hair effects. That would be cool, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, and really there's not a whole ton of pieces that are different um, you have like the, the, you know the white pieces are a little bit different and stuff like that but yeah. um, it's I, I really like it. I think it's I think it's a really nice looking the kit. The gold that 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 the injection gold is actually really nice. Yeah, it's it's cool. Um, the older color for gold was not great. No, it's a no. lot nicer. I, I like what they've been doing with their gold kits. Um, it's still not as nice as when they played it, but you know. This yeah, this is too. no Hyakushiki no. Uh, or anything like that. Um, man. Did we review the Hyakushiki? No, actually, we didn't review the new Hyakushiki. Sorry, guys, you got to see that one. Yeah, we, I, I will, I will take a look at it. So anyway, there's the cathedral. Um, there's not a lot to say about it. You've seen it. It's nice. Um, it's a cool kit. Oh, also, it has this, um, you know, the gun that is a part of the um, assembly for the, um, for the bow and arrow. Gun. Yeah, so it's a bow and arrow gun, and you can actually. Um, 
you know, reconfigure it how you want. It um, turns into an actual weapon that you can reasonably put onto him um, there. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, and it just uh, just comes right off. And yeah, well, the hands are a little tight in this case. That's yeah. Okay. Huh? That fucking hand to stay on there. Oh, I guess it's uh, maladjusted there. Mm -hmm. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Yeah. But so you have this cannon thing that works fine. Um, and so there you go. There's, there's the Cathedral Gundam. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty cool. If you are interested in it, um, it is somewhat available. Um, you are going to probably pay quite a bit for it, but I think it's pretty. I think it's worth it. I think that it's a nice looking kit. Um, definitely poseable. It's pretty durable. And yeah, if you guys have any um, requests or anything, just hit me up. Matane. Matane.